Hello, Orbax here, and I'm here today with Romeo, the roaming robot. How's it going today, Romeo? Luckily, we have not yet reached the robot apocalypse. What can you tell us about your company? So, Korechi has, uh, was set up in Hamilton, and now we are in Oshawa, and uh, we specialize in building autonomous robots to cater to the agriculture and turf care needs. So, typically golf courses, vineyards, orchards, and vegetable gardens. Fantastic. And so the idea is then that these robots are going to be roaming around and not only observing stuff, but also helping the agricultural yeah. industry? Hence the name Romeo, you know, because roams right. around. <laughs> the way we have set it up is that we have, uh, we are making essentially a mini driverless tractor. Okay, at the yeah. moment, we are at autonomous level about 3.5. And so what we ask it to ask Romeo to do is automate the more mundane and repetitive tasks for which frankly it's very difficult to find people to do those tasks. Uh, for instance mowing uh, the turf on golf course is thrice a week and that's right. one of the most expensive activities in, the, in uh, maintaining a golf course. Now I mean one could assume that it would be fairly standard to take a robot and run them on a golf course but what kind of terrain can Romeo actually handle? So Romeo can terrain uh, handle pretty uh, heavy terrain uh, such as uh, you know, freshly tilled soil. So we can actually okay. also, yeah, we can also go on, uh, uh, you know, uh, freshly cut uh, corn fields. So while the corn stalks are still there, we can turn that over and go over it. So that requires a lot of force. And in terms of like the autonomy of it, Romeo can actually see and avoid obstacles that would otherwise get into trouble. Exactly. So we have a few video clips uh, where we also show that happening. We surprise it every now and then, use our uh, use ourselves as obstacles and it has never run over any of us, so that's a good thing. Oh, that's a good start.